Well, I probably made a mistake of coming here after right after work because I'm t I'm tired as all hell. But I I mean I don't know what I am into. This is our badge. Rain rainforest is what it says on it. Yeah, that's that's something. Um, lanyard's interesting. It's supposed to be like the Olympic colors. That that's good at least. I I guess uh, we got a couple things of swag. For some reason, I got a triple XL T-shirt that I so I can't even wear it. Um, that was uh, that, that that's for a crash test. If he wants me to send it to him, I will. I, it's not a bad T-shirt, honestly. It's uh, it's not bad. Uh, decent quality and stuff like that. So you know, if that's what uh, what we will. But first impressions, I am. I have no clue what this is. They, they, you, you look around, you see a lot of really cool costumes. You know, when when I did all the stuff, looking at them online, a lot of the avatars they're pretty cute. They're they're fun. They're they're in they're they make you smile. This is not anywhere near what I expected. You know, I expected a lot of fun interactions, watching, you know, I'm watching people. I'm literally people watching is what I'm doing at this thing right now. Uh, you know, I, I, I had to let the event staff know that I'm filming for YouTube, which uh, they put me on a leash because of it. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed with that because there's not much I can do about it. Uh, if I do an interview with someone that's in the con, they want me to turn around and call a staff member over. So I do an interview with the staff member present. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm, I'm a grown adult here. They, they apparently don't want people to say things that aren't official for the con. And I'm like, uh, I, I'm just trying to do some due diligence here and be, be a uh, respectable YouTuber at this point. And, uh, with, and just say, you know, things are, are whatever they are. Not, not be, not try and upset anyone, stuff like that. I'm trying to stand back and just, just take it in. And you know, I, I saw a bunch of people playing Magic the Gathering, uh, some people setting up for D and D. Uh, that was interesting. And then it, it's not anything crazy. Apparently, they're setting up for karaoke tonight. But I'm, I'm gonna go home tonight because I'm exhausted. Um, I mean. I need my actual camera because my phone is doing its own thing. It's not even recording right now because it's popped off. Oh, I guess that audio is probably all pooch, but whatever. We'll I'll try and clean it up, I guess, in editing. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to uh, just trying to understand what this is. You know, the whole idea of having persona and having something to uh, to a with the whatever part of your soul, I guess, or whatever this is supposed to be. It, it's unique in itself, but then when you look around the con, there it, it's really a strange place of a hotel. Um, you know, there's a couple uh, like older, really older married couples that are in there. With, you know, it's nothing crazy. These are all relatively regular people, I would say. But it's the, you know, I I'm. When when I have someone throw a white an empty white claw off their balcony so it lands at my feet so I notice what's going on, and they're sitting there trying to get me to toss it back up to them. I and especially when I'm seeing the balcony and everyone on there is being very openly gay, you know that that's that's quite all right. Uh, it, it's not my thing. I I don't care. But I just, I'm just here to take this in and uh, what I'm taking in right now is not anything I would expect. You know, I, I put a call out in their Discord to say, listen, I, I'm completely lost here. Uh, I had one guy respond and be like, oh, I can come over and chat with you. And he came over and chatted with me. And then he was like, he didn't say too much. And, I, and then he was like, oh, I got a panel to go on to. And I'm like, well, okay, what panel are you going to? And he was like, oh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm like, okay. I, I don't even know, I don't know what to really think of what's going on here. Um, it's a very different, it's a very different world. And 
you, maybe I'm just tired as all hell. Um, I see people trying, doing what they can to have fun. They did this whole, you know, I, I, I gathered some footage of it, but my, my phone is all messed up a little bit right now because of how damn hot it is. It's getting smeared for the camera lens. So I, I've had to clean it off a few times. It's, it's not normal at all. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm just beside myself, you know, like I have a story and that story can be something more, but just the way I saw things in there, it, it, it took me, it didn't feel overly open, even though it was overly open. It, it, it's, it's a different story. Like it, it's completely different. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it and it's you know i just feel like a wallflower um it's not anything you know i you can sit there approach them all take pictures if you really want i you know i took some video and i'm just trying to just trying to get the lay of the land the the hotel the way their map is set up is extremely confusing um they don't have a panel schedule there. You have to literally go on your phone. So it makes it very difficult to find out what's going on. They have a book and the book lists all the panels, but they don't tell you what times they are. And it's very confusing in that sense. So I, I, you know, I went to the drunken fursuit making. I watched them drink two drinks and continue to try and build a fursuit with amateurs uh, that have never sewn in their life. And I was like, okay, well, that's the deal. Yeah, I ended up leaving to go get food because I was starving. So <laughs> before I kind of end off the, my, my, my first impressions and thoughts here, I just had the weirdest thing happen while I'm sitting here recording. I, I, I wish I could have caught this on camera because it was absolutely bizarro world because I just sat here in my car, recording, there's a guy parked in front of me. He walks up with his keys, pulls his keys out, and backs his car up remotely with his, with his keys. Doesn't get in the car. He backed it up remotely with his keys and then drove off. It, I stuck my head out the window. I'm like, do you have a remote control for your car? And he's like, yes, sir. When did this become a thing? That's, okay, th this is one of the reasons... Uh, I, I'm dumbfounded with this entire fandom. It's the amount of money people have for things. Like I'm watching nice cars drive out of this place that have like all sorts of furry stickers posted all over them. I'm watching, you know, some of the fastest crotch rockets. I, and this car in front of me is remote controlled. The, I, I'm just dumbfounded. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to leave this here. Uh, you know, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Um, like and subscribe for more uh, vlog content from, from Fur A. It, it's, I just don't know what this is. I'll talk to you guys later.